Greetings class. I hope you guys are doing very, very well um, and staying healthy. I'm doing a video lecture series for the first time in my life. And today I'm going to go over the essay that we read that was labeled Blind Patriotism. And I've been teaching the topic of patriotism for a long, long time. And I love this essay and I'll tell you why. I I think that patriotism, as as we've seen as we start to write this paper, is a very emotional idea. It's, it's drenched in pathos, but what this author sets out to do is create a logical analysis of patriotism, which I've never seen in my life. <clears throat> so perhaps it can be done. And the way they did that was creating a survey. They did clinical trials on the concept of patriotism, which is very original and unique and rare. And... um one of the things the author sets out to do in the very first page is really come up with key concepts of patriotism. And we're, we're going to be talking a lot about this, but there's a dichotomy in patriotism. There is um, blind patriotism and progressive patriotism. And blind patriotism is more nationalism, right? Loving your country no matter what. And uh, an extreme example of that would be Nazi Germany. Just following order is loving your country no matter what, even if it, what it's doing isn't correct or moral. And there's another sense called um, progressive patriotism, which you're going to be talking a lot. And that is um, wanting more for your country, not accepting your country as it is, but wanting it to become better and striving to make it better. And early on, this is a reoccurring theme we're going to see in other essays. The, the author says that um, blind patriotism is not as accepting of out groups or immigrants. They, they, see the, they see themselves as a group and then they see the others. And they have a very hard time accepting those others into their group or allegiance. And then pro progressive patriots, patriots are um, more accepting of other cultures. They're more inclusive. And I think that's a key point to hold on to because we're going to be looking a lot at that. And what I like about this essay is that imagine this. Imagine um, being pulled into a room in a clinical trial. And what you have to do is you have to look up these images that symbolize patriotism. And that's what the author did with a group of people. And what he did was he had them look at these images. And some of them were, were images that we would naturally perceive to be patriotism. Like it might be um, soldiers, it might be flags, it might be um, war representations of that. And then he also presented other images that aren't always identified as being patriotic. They could be like national monuments, like state parks, national parks. It could be um, hockey. This is Finland, so he has pictures of hockey and ice skating. Um, it might be um, trees of Finland, which we wouldn't perceive as being patriotic. And after doing this survey, what he learned is that um, the people who identified themselves as being blind patriots, they were more geared towards selecting the images that were more nationalistic, like flags and war scenes and things like that as being patriotic. And more of the progressive um, people, they chose images that were more nature bound um, or sports bound or um, um, ideas like um, seeing national birds as being patriotic. So I found that really interesting. And what I'm going to do in another video is I created a PowerPoint where, where I created, I replicated this survey and I'm going to have you guys look at images and identify which ones you guys think are the most patriotic or non-patriotic. And we'll have a conversation about that. But to go back into it, I think that this essay does a very, very good job of showing the, the, the logical analysis of patriotism, it has a clinical trial of patriotism, and it has clear definitions and perceptions of patriotism. I think could really work for your paper. So if you guys have any questions, please contact me at bpranowitz at yahoo.com. Thank you.